Hey Marty, so I'm going to just show you the master control module and how I've got it set up. So I've got two Pro Presenter computers. There's my master, there's my slave, and then there's my you know my video output. The monitor up there, that's the one that you know shows my output to the live stream and also to the lobby. So, anyways, I just want to kind of show you. Oh, I got an error. Turn that off. Okay, there we go. So there's my camera shot. All right. So master control module after you purchase it, what you want to do is, you know, go to your preferences, obviously go to network, enable the network there. It show. And I, again, I just want to let you know, I am not doing wireless. As you can see, I'm hardwired in for my network. Um, so it does that it automatically does the port. I'm going to enable master control and then Again, on my master computer, which is this one, I'm setting it to master. All right, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here to my slave. I'm gonna do the same thing, enable the network. There's the port. And then I'm gonna say enable master control. And I'm gonna say slave. And now, as you can see, it says connected to WGFX1, which is that right there. And as you can see on the master, it shows WGFX2. I'm going to disable the master control and the slave, and you can see, see it goes away. And if I click it again, it comes back. So I'm doing that clicking on the slave, not the master. You know, and you, that's where you saw that. All right, once you're set up, you're set up. Okay. So I will tell you one of the things that I've learned is this: is um, well, you know what? Let me just show you real quick. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna um, export my first service. So here's, there's my first service, you know, playlist, you know, as far as all my stuff, my headers and all that stuff. So on the slave, this is gonna exactly match. On my slave, this is gonna exactly match as well. So as you can see, that's the master. And then if I come over here to the slave, it's exact well, except for the fact that I haven't put in the first service yet, or the second, or the third. But you'll notice that everything matches. Now, let me just show you. So if I go here to template, I have a little template playlist, and these are things that I often use every single Sunday, and I just create these, and they're already there. But if I go over here, as you can see, I don't have that many, because I don't need that many. Again, it's dependent upon, you know, that first slide. So... Let me show you how all that works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna export, hold on, I'm gonna do a shift, boom. So I highlighted them all. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna do a file, export playlist. And I say exported playlist. Um, I'm gonna say 2FX2 is my playlist and I'm gonna put it on my Dropbox Pro Presenter playlist and save so oh I, I forgot I forgot okay let me let it go okay again file export I do not include the media presentations I turn off all graphics because I do not want graphics related items on this slave computer so again let me just do that and do that replace and boom it's done it's real fast okay so now I'm gonna come over here and I'm waiting for my Dropbox to update it's updated we'll do a file import file and there's the file and I'm gonna import and I'm going to say scripture reading. I'm going to say skip because the scripture reading I got is just a blue slide and that is not going out as a lower third on the live stream. So skip, Sk black slide, skip because it's just a blank blue screen. Uh, offering loop, skip. But then it loads in all the music. All right, so then, sorry for the really bad video all right first service second service third service all right so let me show you a little trick I don't know let me zoom out enough 
So if you look at the playlist, and if you watch, when I click on the template, you can see the template on the slave is also, if I go to welcome, see how it's, it's mirroring it? It's going together. See how it's going down, you know, on the slave computer as well? I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just going down. And things are changing. Things are changing. Okay. So I'm going to go back to first service. All right. Here's how I format. So, again, I do not want this to go on the live stream. So I'm just going to go up to my template. And I'm going to say lower third. I'm actually going to go into my editor here. And I'm actually going to delete and delete. I don't want that to go out to and for some reason my blue really really changed lower third boom why what is going on edit slide you know what this is what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna mess with this I'm just gonna take a black slide put it in this first service and I'm gonna put this where the scripture goes and remove and boom, black slide, black slide. Okay? Black, black. All right. On the song, again, I'm going to remove all my cues. And I am going to then do my template, lower thirds. Boom. There we go. So, you can see, that's what it looks like. And then, with that up, when I go over here and I key up my lower thirds, as you can see, you know, there... There it is. So down, up, down, up. It's more visible when all the lights are not on, you know, but I know it's, you may say, wow, that's hard to read. Actually, it's not when the lights and the services are going on. All right. So again, let me show you over here. So let me zoom out as much as I can. So I'm on that first song. If I go to the black slide up here, as you can see, the orange box over here, it's highlighted. And then when I go down here, and when I go down here, as you can see, and then when I go here, here, you know, it, it's following. So that's how it works. It's really that simple. Um, what I was explaining about, um, if I go to my welcome, as you can see, okay, so like in my welcome, I've got my announcements, I got a countdown, and I got spotlight announcements. All right, if I go over here, as you can see, I got black, black, Brian Cash, black, which really I need to have, um, I need to remove that black. So, again, on the master computer, I select announcements, but as you can see, it's only one slide. But if I start the announcements, you can see that it highlighted. So on the screens, you know, there's the first slide. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to go to the second slide. So there goes the second slide. It goes to a, but as you can see, that only one slide is highlighted. So again, it's in the welcome. It's on that first slide. See? Welcome. It's on that first item in the playlist. But that happens to be multiple slides and their announcements and their scrolling. And that's just how it works. So... Hope that makes sense to you. Um, good luck. Let me know if you need help because I'm here for you. Bye.